everyone, we're going to be going over the very basic transform properties in After Effects, position, rotation, opacity, and also the anchor point tool. I'll run you through the terms of each and how to change them too. Now you can consider this tutorial kind of a companion piece to the transform tools uh, tutorial that we've made. The transform properties are the things that are changing, the tools are what is changing those things. You can, you can consider the transform properties like the wood and the transform tools are like the hammer and nails. So let's get to it. There's no external assets here. This stuff will work on any object in After Effects. So you can just pull up anything you're working on for this. I just happen to have this handy. So first things first, we're gonna be working only with this uh, star over here. You can see it over here in the layer stack. It is the yellow layer, it's called star. And the first thing we're gonna be doing is, so on your uh, layer that you want to transform and deal with the transform properties, we're gonna toggle open that layer and we're gonna toggle open the transform properties. Here they are. So the numbers on each of them uh, mean something relative to each property, but I'm gonna walk you through them and you're gonna see what I mean exactly by that. So we're actually gonna be starting with position rather than anchor point. We'll actually, we're gonna be circling back to anchor point at the end. But position is what it sounds like. So clicking and dragging around the object changes where the position is. Now keep an eye on those numbers down there. You can see that they're changing. Now After Effects is set up uh, like a grid and the origin of the grid, like 0, 0.00, that coordinate is set up over here. So if I were to manually change the position over here to zero and zero, that's where it is. Now keep in mind, I want you to take note of, you see this little uh, doohickey here, this little kind of crosshair thing? That's the anchor point, And you can see that that's lined up with the origin, the point zero zero. Now that's quite important as we'll mention later with the anchor point, but basically this is where the program is like, ah, this is where the object is. Now you can also tell that things can move off the visible composition window too. And if you take a look at those numbers down there in position, you'll see that some of them have gone to the negative. So the X, coordinate, the horizontal coordinate has gone to a negative. And if I were to drag this upwards, then the Y coordinate goes into the negative. So it's a bit funky. It's a little bit like an upside down coordinate system. But if you keep in mind that this point up over here, zero, zero, that should help you out. Now you saw, by the way, to change these things, I could, either I can click and drag the shape, move it around. I could slide these numbers and move it around. I can manually put in numbers and move it around. So those are a couple different ways to change the position. So scale is the size of my shape. So you'll see this little uh, paperclip thing here, or I think it's supposed to be a chain. Right now it's linked to each other. That's constrained proportions. So if I were to slide and change one of the proportions, the other one changes as well. Now, if I were to turn that off, the chain's gone. I can change one of them, the X coordinate, so now it's getting wider, or I could make it thinner by changing the Y coordinate, and now they're independent of each other. I'm gonna turn it back to where it was before. Now, if I were to make one of these coordinates, by the way, negative, I would actually be flipping it upside down. But again, I'm gonna return it back to where it was before. Now we have rotation. So, rotation is what it sounds like. I can use the rotation tool to make it move around. Come on there. So you see I'm clicking and dragging and spin, spinning it around and keep, you know, again, watch those numbers over here. I'll tell you about what they mean in a second, but also notice that it's revolving around that anchor. So that anchor point is basically where After Effects to simplify it is saying like, ah, that's where, that's where this uh, object is. And that's what's going to determine how it spins, how you position it, all sorts of things. So that anchor point is quite uh, important. Now, heading back to uh, where rotation was before, now check it out. The first number shows how many revolutions the object has already. By changing that number, it'll make the object complete however many revolutions. So if I turn it into three, now it doesn't look like it changed, but in the program, effectively, I've made this spin three times and I'm actually gonna animate it so you see what I mean. The second number is the angle that it's at, see? So again, remember that anchor point is determining where it is moving relative to. Moving it to the right makes it go uh, clockwise, moving it to the left makes it go counterclockwise. So like I mentioned, I'm gonna be animating uh, this revolution part, this revolution number over here. So give me just a second, I'm gonna change that to six. And now that I play it back, see it's spinning three times in between those keyframes. So that's what I mean by how many revolutions. So like always, you can manually input these numbers by clicking on them and putting in anything you want, or you can use the rotation tool, you know, the selection tool for all of these as well. 
All right, we are almost done. Let's talk about opacity. So opacity is how transparent this thing is. How see-through is it? So at 100%, it's completely opaque. You can't see through this thing. But I'm going to turn down the number, and now you can already see it's fading a bit. I'm going to click and drag it. Now look, you can start to see stuff behind it. Now when it's turned back up all the way to 100, you can't see anything through it. But down and down and down until it's basically invisible at zero. So that's key. Uh, that's all of these are, like I mentioned, you can animate them. So this is quite nice for an appearing effect, you know, going from invisible to visible. Whoa. Finally, the anchor point tool. So like before, you can technically change the where the anchor point is or where the shape is relative to the anchor point by manipulating these uh, numbers manually. But I would rather use the anchor point tool by hitting Y my keyboard. It's also this thing up here. Like I mentioned, we have a uh, transform tools, uh, transform tools tutorial. I think you would uh, get a lot out of by checking that out. Now I can just click and drag this. And now I can change where my anchor point is. So if I click it down to one of the legs of the star and I'm now revolving it, it's going to revolve around that instead. You know, if I move it down to this part of the star, it's going to revolve around that instead. You know, the position is going to be changed by that uh, anchor point instead. That's it for uh, all these transform tools. These tools form the backbone of After Effects animation, and that's just a couple of properties. You can use these on objects, footage, effects, and even advanced techniques like rigs, puppet pin, and 3D animation all rely on these. We have tutorials on the transform tools, like I mentioned, and an upcoming one on keyframes that'll help you expand your understanding here. So stay tuned and check out our library of tutorials.